Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online video where today I'm going to be comparing the anti-aircraft turret against the half track and see which one is better and ultimately the one that you should buy should you not have the funds to buy both pieces of hardware. So let's get right to it shall we? So in terms of price the half track is considerably more expensive at the price of two and a quarter million compared to the anti-aircraft trailer being priced at 1.85 million so in terms of affordability the anti-aircraft trailer wins the trump draw. But does the cheaper price price mean an inferior piece of hardware? Well to answer that we first have to take a look at what both weapon systems have to offer. For this video I'm going to assume that you're going to go ahead and get the uprated weapon systems for these things and in that case the half track can be fitted with a non-explosive quad cannon which features a great rate of fire which is great for general purpose use. There's not really anything that the quad cannon can't fight against and might be more favourable for those who may be taking part in a prolonged fight like in a random PvP fight in the city. The the anti-air turret can either be fitted with an anti-air cannon which comes complete with two slow firing cannons that fire off a lethal exploding shell or you can fit it with a guided missile system which is good for taking on aircraft like helicopters and other vehicles. The cannons are pretty good at taking on anything that you want though they're more designed for taking on the likes of hydras and other fast moving aircraft but also prove pretty devastating towards everything else. That is if you can get a hit on your intended target and with the slow firing system of the cannons it may prove a little more difficult than say the quad cannon of the half track. The guided missile system I would have to say isn't really that good in my opinion. As we all know most aircraft will consist of jets including the Hydra and the laser, both of which can rather easily evade such oncoming missiles that are fired at them. I'd say for the anti-air turret I'd just avoid using the guided missile system. Performance wise on the road because you're probably going to be running and gunning in the gun running vehicles, speed and handling are a pretty big factor on whether or not to buy these things. With the half track it's pretty simple, since the turret is fixed to the back of the wagon it's got fixed performance all around, featuring moderate speed with turning not an issue due to the limited top speed. Whereas with the anti-air turret with its ability to be towed by a variety of things the performance really depends on the vehicle that's towing it, vehicles including the night shark, the APC and even the competitor itself the half track is able to tow it. So if you were inclined you could combine the advantages of both weapon systems onto one train and have a powerful combo. Overall it really depends on the engine pulling the anti-air cannon to dictate performance. Defence wise the half track wins by a mile. The turret is about as weak as any normal vehicle only taking one rocket to blow the thing to smithereens compared to the half track which is able to take like five hits from a rocket before hitting the dust. Because of this the importance of having a fast vehicle to tow the trailer is of utmost importance. Sure it can be towed by the half track but its slow towing speed could mean that you'll start off with a full crew but when returning from a mission the half track will be without its little brother. Overall I gotta say there's no definitive answer as to which is the best overall, if you can afford both then just get both as long as you're also able to afford the research and development costs of getting all the upgrades. Rockstar did a really good job on balancing these two pieces of hardware for the gun running DLC unlike some other vehicles and it's really up to you to decide what you want to achieve to decide what piece of hardware you get. And on that note I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Pyram Gaming channel for loads more videos coming to you very soon. See you around everyone.